Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel CBSC Courses with Riti. Today we are going to start with a very important topic that is polynomials. Polynomials is your second chapter in the MCRT book and today we are going to talk about reduced slavers of 2023-24. Like the things we are deleted from the chapter we are absolutely not going to focus on that. What is a polynomial? So a polynomial is a algebraic expression made up of one or you know like a mathematical operations hongi saath mein combined using the mathematical operations. If I like uh, let's say 7x square plus 4x plus 3. So we have some, you know, these are what? These are your mathematical operators. Okay, plus, minus, these are our operators. Then we have terms. Terms in the sense here, a term is 7x, 4x, 3. These are our terms. Okay? Coefficient. ये सब जो साथ मिल के पूरे expression को एक algebraic expression है, which is made up of one or more terms. Terms क्या हुए? Like seven x square, four x and three. So it is saying that a polynomial is an algebraic expression made up of one or more terms. ठीक है? One or more terms. And it is joined together using the mathematical operations like plus, minus, division, multiplication. Right? So, term here kya hue? 7x square, 4x plus 3. Operator kya hue? Plus here, plus here. Or if it is, let's say, it's uh, minus here. Say minus here plus kya hue? Operators hue. Now, coefficient. Coefficient is again a coefficient. Se pehle I will talk about variables. What is variable here? X. Right. X is the variable. Right. Cause variable means it can vary. Means it can be changed. Ye kuch bhi hota hai. It's not constant. But let's say 7, 4, 3, can they keep on changing? Is 7, 8 will jayega? 4, 3 will jayega? Ya 3, 8 will jayega? It's not possible, right? It will remain constant. Therefore, this is known as constant. This is very basic. I'm just telling you so that you just remember what we are talking here. Now, variable co and constants aren't been given in your textbook. But this is the very basic of polynomials. So, I have discussed with you all. Now, the question which can come from one marker for polynomials is coefficients. Coefficients. Like, for example, say x square to coefficient kya hoga? Ya x ko coefficient kya hoga? Just tell me. So, the constant, these are constant numbers. Hai. Like, now, if it said coefficient of x square, so you will check out that Okay, x square, x square is here. What is the constant with x square? It is 7. Therefore, our coefficient of x square is 7. Same way x, we will check x is here. x is at, we are having 4. Therefore, 4 is our coefficient. This is very important. It can come for one marker as MCQ. We know that MCQ this time has 15% of your question paper. So we have to get through with the chapter very much because we are not getting, going to have only 3 marks or 5 markers more. But we are going to have 1 marker MCQ. And MCQ have such options that we think that if, which one is correct. So we must have the deep knowledge of the topic to be able to answer MCQ questions. Okay. Operator terms. We all go that. Now, there are two types of classification. 
one is monomial, binomial, trinomial, and second one is I just write it down here. Two तरह से classifications कर सकते हैं. Like in SST, if you remember, we do car uh, Himalayas. About Himalayas, first is we do division like this, and secondly we do division like this. Right? If you don't, so still don't worry. So the classifications can be of two types. First, it will be monomial, binomial, polynomials, not polynomials actually, let's write here trinomials, trinomials and second one is based on degree. So basically in this chapter we are not going to focus about that but based on degree we are going to learn. So we have three kinds of expressions based on degree. Three tarah ki polynomials hote hai based on degree. So before we talk about monomial, binomials, trinomials let us focus on based on degree because with this we will able to understand what we are going to do in this chapter. So based on degree we have three types let's talk about here like let's say linear quadratic and cubic now quad linear means one is the degree highest degree yeah my degree ki baat kar rahi, so it means highest okay degree means I'm talking about the highest degree like if you check on this question, let's say this is a question. Now tell me it's highest degree. I hope you got it. The highest degree is 2. We have two variables x and x and we have x square. Means 2 is a highest degree. Quadratic is nothing but the degree 2. Cubic is degree 3. If in the polynomial, if you are having 1 as the highest degree, then we will say it as linear polynomial. If you are having 2 as the highest degree, then you will say it as quadratic polynomial. Like in this case, this is a quadratic polynomial. And if I just, you know, remove this 7x. Let's say I have removed this 7x. So now tell me, what is your? Oh, let me just rub it off. Okay, now tell me, what is your highest degree? It is 1. So, this is your linear polynomial now. Now, let us say we have 7x also and plus 9x cube. Okay. 9x cube. Now, tell me which kind of polynomial it is based on degree. So, highest degree is uh, 3. 3 being the highest degree, it means it is cubic polynomial. Now, for class 10th, cubic polynomial is deleted. Cubic polynomial jo hai, it has deleted from our slaver, so we don't need to learn about cubic. What is cubic, but we are not going to solve the questions related to cubic polynomials. I hope this much is clear to you. So, what we are basically going to focus is linear and quadratic polynomials now let's talk about monomial binomials and trinomials you know already what monomial binomials and trinomials is as we have learned in previous classes also so this is the classification on basis of terms terms ke basis pe Classification ko hum kehte hai. This by monomial, binomial, trinomials. Now polynomials is more, the terms can be 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, any. Any expression, any algebraic expression made up of one or more terms. Any expression made up of one or more terms is polynomial. Or monomial, binomial, trinomial. Mein kya hota hai? Let me rub this. If you have to note down, so please do a screenshot of write it as fast as you can. 
So, just a second. Huh. Now, first let us talk about monomial. Monomial just means one term. Like uh, example, I can give you 7x or 3x square or 7. These are monomials. Okay. Now binomial means two terms. Here we will have two terms like 7x plus 5 or 8x square plus 4. Any two terms. One, two. Two terms. One term only. Okay. Trinomial, the same three terms. Like example, I can say 7x square plus 8x plus 5. Theek hai? So this is your classification of polynomial based on terms. We have done both terms and you know what term. Based on degree, so now we chapter start chapter. But before that, I have to talk about something called linear standard form. Standard form kya hota hai? Now, as we know, we are cubic. Nahi wale. We are only going to talk about linear polynomials and quadratic polynomials. Because cubic polynomials has been deleted from our syllabus, and jo my syllabus is deleted, ho gaya, so we don't need to focus. If you are uh, getting your red, getting ready for JE or need, not need, but JE, if you are thinking to pursue maths in classes, then you can go, you can just study about cubic polynomial. But as we are not having it in our syllabus in class 10, so we really don't need it. Because NCRT के बाहर कभी भी कुछ नहीं आएगा. Just remember, NCRT is your key to success. If you are going through NCRT very carefully, if you remember everything about NCRT, then you can score well. Now linear polynomials. Linear means one as degree means highest degree. जब degree बोला जाए, so it doesn't means high. इस डिग्री डिग्री का मतलब ही क्या होता है लेट मी टेल यू डिग्री जो होता है इसका मीनिंग होता है हाईएस्ट पावर हाईएस्ट पावर इज नथिंग बट डिग्री सो व्हेन इट्स टेलिंग यू डिग्री सो डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज बिटवीन पावर एंड डिग्री फॉर एग्जांपल 4x 3x 4x2 3x इसमें पावर तो वन भी है पावर टू भी है ओके इन दिस वी आर हैविंग दी पावर टू एज वेल वी आर हैविंग दी पावर वन एज वेल बट व्हेन एज सुन एंड यू गेट दी टर्म डिग्री देन यू हैव टू चेक हाईएस्ट पावर डिग्री मींस हाईएस्ट पावर जो भी आपको पॉलिनोमियल दे रखा है यू हैव टू चेक व्हाट इज इट्स हाईएस्ट डिग्री ओके आई होप दिस इज क्लियर आई जस्ट yeah, because sometimes I used to get confused. Frankly speaking, I used to get confused because degree is so like, you know, most commonly word used that we get confused between degree and power. Okay. Now let's talk about linear polynomials. Means one is the degree of it. Now degree one here, it has a standard form. Standard form kya hoga? Ax plus b. Ax plus b. Now let me give you an example of it. This is standard form. Hai. Just, this is done. Like if you are given a question not in the standard form. So first you have to make it in your standard form. Then you have to proceed with your question. For example, 7x plus 3. 7x plus 3. So it means a is your 7, b is your 3. And x as, as it is. Now, it doesn't mean that it will be x only in your question given. It can be y also. It can be z also. Here, this x stands for variable. x is your variable. 
ठीक है ए सेवन लाइक जिस जो वेरिएबल के साथ मल्टीप्लाई हो रहा होगा दैट विल बी आर ए एंड प्लस विल बी थ्री नाउ क्वेश्चन कैन बी लाइक इट दे कैन गिव यू लाइक थ्री वाई इक्वल्स टू सेवन थ्री वाई इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन लेट से इट इज गिवन टू यू नाउ वॉट यूल डू यू विल डू इज इसमें एक आता है इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो होता है सो ना थ्री वाई इज इक्वल्स टू सेवन लेट्स पुट सेवन दिस साइड सो इट कैन सो इट विल गिव यू दिस क्वेश्चन विल गिव यू थ्री वाई यहाँ प्लस है सो माइनस सेवन इक्वल्स टू जीरो ठीक है नाउ टेल मी वॉट विल बी द ए एंड वॉट विल बी द बी हेयर सो ए इज इक्वल्स टू थ्री and b is equals to minus 7 remember b is equals to minus 7 okay not 7 you will write jo bhi uska hai saath mein like for example agar yahan pe minus 3 hota so we will have written minus 3 okay so you have to always arrange it in your standard form it will make your equation your question more easy वन मोर एग्जाम्पल लेट मी गिव यू हाउ टू मेक इट इन योर स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म ऑल दो यू हैव लर्न अबाउट इन योर क्लास नाइन्थ एज वेल बट एज इफ इट वी आर स्टार्टिंग दिस चैप्टर सो वाइड आउट विद दी बेसिक्स नाउ लेट अस टेक द एग्जाम्पल लेट मी टेक योर एग्जाम्पल टू प्लस माइनस टू प्लस थ्री एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो Now you will say that this will be no problem. No, yeah, is equals to be zero. Hai. But this too, if it's in this, ah, uh, if it is in this form, so I'll prefer that you have to write in this. Like a plus three x plus three x this side minus two equals to zero. So now a is your three and b is your two minus two. Okay, the pure minus two. Hai. Is is the sign said that is very important. You have to write a, b, or c with their signs. So I hope this is clear. Please write down this formula. This is very important. Just write it down. Now quadratic polynomials. Quadratic polynomial is two is the degree. Means two is the highest power in the question. Now it's linear sorry its standard form is a x square plus b x plus c okay this is its standard form okay now this is your standard form standard form many a time question as one mark comes that Write this equation in your standard form. Right? They will give you an equation and they will ask you to write it in your standard form. So you must know what is standard form. ठीक है? ये word याद कर लो. Oh, standard form. ये सब क्या है? This is your standard form. This is again your standard form. Okay? Now let's move forward. Standard form समझ आया? Now let me give you example of it. Let's say the example is three x square plus four x plus five. Here zero is zero. ये standard form है. So here your a will be three. Your b is four because x we term the Constant of x, yeah, coefficient of x, ठीक है? And c is a five. ये याद रखना है, x square का coefficient जो है, वो a होगा. Means x square का coefficient is three, so this will be your a. They can also write, tell you to write down their a, b and c. So you will write it loud, like a is equals to three, b is equals to four, and c is equals to five. ठीक है? Now they can give you questions as well. ठीक है? ये मैं बता देती हूँ because you should not think ये क्या मैंने draw कर रखा है. 
let me just write a is equals to 3, b is equals to minus 2. Okay, now, they can give you a question to write it in your standard form. Like, uh, for example, they can give you 3x square. I am writing down this as it is. 3 square plus 4x equals to minus 5. Okay? 3x square plus 4x equals to minus 5. So now what you will do? You will put this minus 5 this side. So it will become like 3x square plus 4x plus 5 equals to 0. Okay? When you see equation to use care, so you, for a better understanding, here it was minus sign when it comes to this side. So what will happen? The signs are changed. Right? This is what happens. I hope this is your clear concept. May I call example they did you. Although I don't think the smart kiddos need it. But still, let me just give it as mm, three. Let you know. Let me tell. Try another number. Six x square plus five equals to nine x. So what you will do? You will put nine x here. So it will come like x square. Now x square to what? X sana. Ki b ana. So Minus 9x plus 5 equals to 0. A is your 6, B is equals to 9 and C equals to 5. Oh, sorry. B is equals to minus 9. Don't do this. You know, yes, it does have a name. We have to consider this angle. And if you are like having an issue, you will have a minus 9. Now, so what you will do is. Sub ki signs likna shuru kar do. A when you are writing, so write plus 6. When C is your right, so write plus 5. So you will inherit the habit of writing these signs as well. This is a common technique. If you want to use, you can. If you don't, so that's your choice. Particularly, one more question, one more type of question they can give you is 6x plus 5. Minus 9x square. Which we have taken the first time, we have written it differently. It equals to 0. Write it in your standard form. Write it down fast, fast, fast. Let us see who comments first and who has won. Who has understood this chapter more clearly. And if you are able to understand what I am teaching, so just give me your support by just liking your, my video and subscribe to my channel as well. So 6x so, first we have to write x square. So, 9 minus 9 x square. Here it's plus. So, plus 6 x plus 5 equals to 0. Now, a is equals to minus 9. b is equals to 6. c equals to plus 5. Here we plus. You can write it down here like this also. So, I hope the polynomials is one or more terms written together and it is an algebraic expression written with one or more terms using or connected with using mathematical operators mathematical operators like plus minus multiply divide and i have give you a multiple examples we have written questions this all are nothing but polynomials now we have recapitulated now what do we have to do? What we have to learn is that we are going to learn new things This was what we have learned so far But 10th is something new we are talking about So 10th Now we will talk about this in our part 2 This was just an introduction of the chapter The second introduction in which we are going to have war with the new topics, new concepts will be the second video till then i hope you like my video if you do so like subscribe and share my channel and also don't forget to ring the bell hang button so you'll get all the notifications of my channel till then write this down as your notes
whenever you want to but i want to write you to write it down because it's going to be in your mcqs till then bye bye